Keeping us alive and preserving us, giving us the opportunity to be alive. Let us worship Him. Let us magnify Him. Let us give Him praise. Let us give Him glory for the gift of life. Magnify His holy name for the gift of life. Exalt His holy name for the gift of life. Glorify Him for the gift of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, giving Him praise, giving the glory, giving the honor. Glorify Him for the gift of life. Magnify Him for the gift of life. Oh, as God's holy name, giving praise, giving praise, giving praise. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Giving praise, 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 giving praise. 
Give him praise. Give him glory for this good life. Thank him again. Thank him. Magnifying this morning. Exalt him this morning. Exalt him this morning. Exalt him this morning. Exalt him this morning. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give me 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 praise. I thought him Belen. Give me glory. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me praise. Give me praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, magnify him. Magnify him. Magnify him. Give me all the praise. Give me all the praise. Give me all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, give him all the praise. 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 Glorify him, brethren. Give him glory for him. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, just in him. Exalt him, brethren, magnify him. Thank for what he's doing for you in your home, in your life, in your family, for his faithfulness to you, for his faithfulness to your family, for his faithfulness to your household. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Exalt him for his goodness to us. He's been so good to us. He's been so kind to us. He's been so good to us, brethren. What a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be his name. Praise him, Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name. 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 Is worthy of our praise. 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 Blessed be his name. 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 Oh, glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus for keeping us as a people. For keeping us as individual, for keeping us as a nation. Only Him can take the glory. Blessed be His name. For all that He has done for us, oh, bless His name. Bless His name. Glory to His name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to His name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to His name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be His name in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory, 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 glory to His name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Be exalted, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We glorify, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We exalt you, we bless you, we honor you. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the highest, amen, hallelujah, for his mercy and your forever. Amen, hallelujah, for his mercy and your forever. Ah. I'm just worshiping for adding day to your days, week to your week, month to your months. Before you know it, the month is already, the year is already running out today again. It has been God doing this for us. Thank Him for those that are having birthday already. Just this week, one of our mother did their birthday. Bless God for our life, for adding another year to our year, for making her to see a new year of her age. Many of our mates are gone, many are dead. But she's still alive and hell and well and hell and well. Thank God for that. Magnify him for celebrating another year with her. And thank God for those that have already celebrated there this year already. And we are trusting God all of us to celebrate our birthday, even in the course of the year. Because God is adding days to our days, adding weeks to our weeks, adding months to our months, and year to our years, because it's good and we have. 
bless, bless him and magnify him, exalt him and give him glory. He's doing this for us. He's doing the same for our children. He's doing the same for our loved ones. He's preserving us and keeping us. Please magnify him. For the gift of life, magnify him. For the gift of every day, magnify him. For the gift of every week, magnify him. For the gift of every month, magnify him. For the gift of year to year, adding to us, magnify him, brethren. Giving praise, giving glory. Giving praise, giving glory. Giving glory and giving praise. Blessed be his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank him, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Mr. Elder, I thank you because I'm not spending my days in sickness. I may be, there may be one or two things we are dealing with and we are trusting God for healing. But the fact still remains that we are not spending our days in sickness. Many are bedridden already. Mm -hmm. Many are tired. Many are just in one spot. They cannot move out. They cannot move in. They have to be being carried here and there. But we are not like that. It's not because God is good to us. I just please I thank you. For health, I thank you. I thank you for making me to spend my life in health. Spending my days in health. I'm not a body for my relative. I'm not a body for my children. I'm not a body for my spouse. I'm not a body for my loved one. You kept me alive. I can still do my daily business. I can still move here and there. I can still do whatever I want to do because you kept me alive. For adding life to us, how do you say thank you? For adding life to us, we are keeping us in here to say thank you. For testimonies we are hearing here and there, say thank you. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Be praised, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And sometimes when I'm praying, I will ask God, we are the testimonies. We are the testimonies. And oftentimes God will reply me, if I hear any evil from my people, if anyone call me and say, please pray for us, so and so is happening, and there is fire on the mountain. Sincerely, there will not be any news like that. It's not because God is good to us, our testimony in our homes. Mm. Even though people may not share their testimonies, but that does not, not remove the fact that God is doing good to our families in our home. Nobody has called me at least for the last six months now and say, please pray for my son or pray for my daughter. It's been obstacle for the past three days and I see the medical people are trying their best. Nothing is happening yet. And they are even confused. They don't know what is happening. They say we should be praying. Join us in prayer. I feel here the trust for any of them. I say no. Then rejoice that you are doing, they are doing fine. I just say that I thank you because uh, people are doing fine. That for testimony we are hearing, for testimony of things we are enjoying, for testimony of your goodness to us. No one of us being hospitalized, no evil in our homes, no evil in our family, no fire outbreak, no disease outbreak, no calamity of any kind, no evil of any kind. Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. We pray against the against diseases, against the outbreak of sickness. You didn't allow it to happen. We pray against fire incidences. You didn't allow it to happen. We pray against home accidents. You didn't allow it to happen. We pray against all the evil the wicked you have exposed, and you didn't allow them to happen. We say thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for peace in our home. We say thank you. For joy in our home, we say thank you. For the work we are doing, we say thank you. For our income, we say thank you. For provisions, we say thank you. For your lovingness, we say thank you. For your kindness towards us, we say thank you. Blessed be your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have seen your hand in many ways. We are still seeing your hand in many ways. We are taking care of us, we say thank you. We don't have cause to be running up and down, asking for prayer here and there. You are keeping us in our houses. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Here yeah, there are prayers that not be answered yet, but we can rejoice yet in many that you have done already. We say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name, Father. For answer to our prayer, we say thank you. Oh, for answer to all our prayers, we say thank you. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We Amen. thank God because we are not burning. We will be discussing the spirit bear fruit. And of a truth, the spirit of God will be bearing fruit in our life. Our lips are praising him, the fruit of our lips are going to him. I try this month, I'll be doing that. And we keep doing that even next month to come. We thank God for that, that we are not burning with the fruit of our lips. We can open our mouth and praise God. We are not burning the fruit of grace. Our soul is producing fruit to the glory of God. We are not an embarrassment to grace. We are not an embarrassment to the things of God. Yes, I was sitting about a particular pastor, and I was wondering, you know, sometimes you read news about what's happening to this sister, to that brother, to that person, and you see embarrassment to grace. But me and you, we are not embarrassment to grace. You. People are not saying, and say, are you a Christian at all? Are you a believer at all? Is your wife, your life like this? Despite you saying you are Christian, you are a believer, you are seeing a wicked man, a wicked woman. That is not said to any of us. We are not an embarrassment to grace. There is nothing like say, they are our ourselves and our spouses church are gathering on, on us and say let us finish their matter for them just intervene on their behalf and they are saying daddy why are you doing like this are you not a christian or mommy why are, you, why are you like this are you not a believer our children reporting us to our pastors and say mommy is doing this daddy is doing that and are becoming an embarrassment to grace and people are looking at us they are wondering if you are a believer at all say that thank you because i'm not an embarrassment to grace i thank you because i'm not an embarrassment to grace the fruit of the Holy Spirit is, 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 is obvious in my life, in my spirit, in my soul, in my body. I thank you, especially in my soul that you have considered your fruit is obvious in me. My character is not embarrassing you. My behavior is not embarrassing you. My lifestyle is not embarrassing you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My neighbor is not embarrassed by reason of my lifestyle. My workplace, they're not embarrassed by reason of my lifestyle. In my office, they're not embarrassed by reason of my lifestyle. In the market where I sell my teeth, they're not embarrassed by reason of my lifestyle. Oh, I thank you. In my church, nobody's embarrassed by reason of my lifestyle. They're not saying, oh, when you say you're a pastor, why are you doing this? That is not me. I thank you, Holy Spirit. They're not reporting of my members to me and say, the, or maybe the husband or the wife, and say, look at what your member is doing. You Look at what they are doing, and they become an embarrassment to grace. Thank you because we are not embarrassment of grace in our workplaces, in our family, between ourselves and our spouses. We are not an embarrassment of grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 We are not an embarrassment of grace. Glory to your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Just imagine any of us still in the marketplace and uh, the person is caught. And somebody say, ah, and it's our choir, mem choir member, oh, and it's our pastor's wife, oh, ah, this man is our pastor, why is he not still in the market? And people are wondering if it's a pastor, or it's a pastor's wife, or it's a choir member, or it's an usher in his church, why is he not still in? And before you know it, people are embarrassed because you are a believer. That is not our lot. Those that happen to sometimes they are under the devil's influence, they are under spell, they cannot hurt themselves. But God not allows us to come under the spell of the wicked. God not allows to the enemy to disgrace us. Sometimes people find themselves in things they are not there for. Sometimes they couldn't just help themselves. The enemy has taken advantage of them, cast a spell upon them. When the Bible says there is no divination, there is no enchantment against Jacob. God knows what He's saying. Because sometimes there is a, the devil can cast a spell upon someone and the person begins to misbehave and do things that ordinarily he or she wouldn't do. And before you know it, until the devil, devil uh, embarrass the person and become a shame to the body of Christ, he will not leave the person alone. That is not me and you, brethren. Is it that the enemy has not tried? Is it that the devil has not tried? But they're not succeeded in embarrassing us. Say that I thank you because I'm not embarrassed. Well, and I'm not an embarrassment of grace. I'm not ashamed and I'm not being put to shame. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your name is not being put to shame in my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you because you don't allow me and my children to come under the spell of the wicked. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You didn't allow me and my family to come under the spell of the wicked. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My children are not disgracing me. My children are not an embarrassment to me. My spouse is not an embarrassment to me. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. 
because you are bearing fruit in my family. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. My family is not an embarrassment of grace. I'm not an embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. My first in secondary school, the asset children in secondary school and university. You must have you heard of a, of a case of late. Yes, some children in secondary school are messing up when they travel abroad. And before you know it, a child was a child was killed by some people that are believed to be courtes in secondary school. Your children is not named among <coughs> such. They didn't come from home, from, from school, and say, We rosicated your child, no longer in our university now, because uh, we caught him or her among the prostitutes or among those that are. Cottage and they will investigate the case and say, ah, and the mother is a is a deaconess, or and the mother is a deaconess, or a, the father is a deacon, or the mother is a or this is a choir member, choir mistress of our church, or the father is, is a chief usher in our church, and they begin to wonder why is your child among the courtes, and you are embarrassed, even your own church. And before you know, you say, I'm going to change my church. Because I'm not going to go to that place, I'm embarrassed already by raising that child in university or in secondary school. And your own son like that, brethren. Or they didn't come to back home and say the baby is the one, the, 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 the boy has been injured badly because of court fights that he involved himself with. Any of our children has not embarrassed us in any way. Is that not a reason to praise God? Is God fruit not showing in our life? Sometimes I don't think deep. That's why I don't know how to praise God. But now you can praise him better. Say that I thank you because my children are not an embarrassment to me. Father, thank you. Thank you because my children are not an embarrassment to me. Thank you because they're not an embarrassment to me. I'm sleeping with my two eyes closed. I'm not disturbed and worried. Thinking, what will that child come home with again today? I'm not disturbed and worried. I'm be, I'm be, I'm, I'm be, I'm be disturbed in my house. I'm be wondering, what will they see my daughter have done again today? I'm be wondering, what will they see my son have done again today? My children are not embarrassment to me. They are not coming home with embarrassing news. They are not been coming home with police reports. They are not coming home with uh, uh, police invading my home and say, where is your girl? Where is your daughter? Where is your boy? Mine is not like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No bad news, no evil news that can embarrass me, put me to shame, coming for my children. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name. I praise you. I worship you. I magnify your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. And you're saying you're not embarrassing your children. I want to praise God for that. Those parents that embarrass their children, think they're not smart like us. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not as smart. It's not our smartness, brethren. It's just God on our side. Say so that you are thanking because I'm not an embarrassment to my children. My children. When I say your children now, not only your biological children, there are many children in the neighborhood that call you mommy. There are many children in your church that call you mommy. There are many people in your office that call you mommy or call you daddy in your, in your neighborhood when you are coming. Daddy, daddy, welcome. Your children, children, welcome you, including the one that God has blessed you with biologically. But in all this, you're not an embarrassment to any of them. You're not coming home one day, closing your eyes because your children have heard the news of what mommy just did or daddy just did. And you are ashamed of even coming to your own children. You are ashamed of even trying to explain to your own children. That is not like that to you. It has happened to many people like that. And their hearts never remain the same again. Their relationship with their children never remain the same again. They are embarrassed. But God has not allowed the enemy to embarrass us. You think they don't want to do it. You think the enemy is not trying his best. But there's no enchantment against us that has prospered. There's no divination against us that has prospered. No weapon of fashion against us that has prospered. It because God is on our side, brethren, that our life is bearing fruit to the glory of God. Say so that I thank you because I'm not an embarrassment to my children. I thank you because one day the children don't just walk in by, by mistake and they see me fighting my husband or fighting my wife and they are embarrassed. I thank you because I'm not an embarrassment to my children. Oh, I thank you because you have not made me an embarrassment to my loved one in my head, in my wife, in my life, in the way I do my things, in the way things happen to me. You have not allowed me to be an embarrassment. Even my head, I'm not broken down. I'm not bedridden to the point of my children and embarrassed. But I think because I'm not, I'm not an embarrassment to my children. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm not an embarrassment to my children. My children are not ashamed. 
outside there to talk to their friend by reason of me. My children are not ashamed outside there to relate to their friends by reason of me. My children are not ashamed outside there to go to their workplaces or to their schools by reason of me. My children are not ashamed of me. Even the neighbors around me are not saying, my children, don't go and play with that man, no, or with that woman, no, because the I may mean, become an embarrassment. That is not my story. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. You didn't allow the enemy to captivate, to, to take out over my life. You didn't allow the enemy to, to, to hypnotize me. You didn't allow the enemy to cast spell over my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You didn't allow the enemy to cast spell over my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I say, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. You didn't allow me to be a chain in my houses, in my in my house and neighborhood. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I thank you for you didn't allow the enemy to make me an embarrassment. Blessed be your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. We thank God for what He's doing in, our, in the foot of our bodies. Our children are doing well. Not only the foot of our body, he, we learn about that, and that anything you are doing legitimately, producing good fruit for you, that the fruit of your body. And God is blessing them, blessing our work. We work during the month with our collecting salary, and during the month we, can, we collect our own salary ourselves. Nobody collecting on our behalf. Isn't that wonderful? You have your own ATM, you go to ATM, you collect your own money yourself. You're not sending anybody because your leg or your hand cannot work. I want to thank God for that. You are working or you are expecting to, to get something yourself, your money, your business. You can collect your own money yourself. Not anybody doing it on your behalf. Isn't God good to you? Is God not producing fruit in your body? Is your body not being fruitful? Is your head not being fruitful? Are you not alive and still walking around yourself? Is your body not being fruitful? But then go ahead and thank God for all these things. Go ahead and thank God for all these things. See that I thank you because my body too is bearing fruits. The fruit of your daily working with me. You daily loaded me with benefits. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can eat any food I like. My food is not working contrary to my body. I drink my water. I drink other things that God has blessed me with. It juice and other things that God has blessed me with. It's not working contrary to my body. I eat any fruit I like. I eat vegetable I like. It's not working contrary to my body. Because my body is producing fruit in my head to the glory of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the fruit of my body, some of my children too. You are, you, are, you gave me and you are blessing them. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the fruit of my body in time of my work. I can see my work doing well, my business doing work. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm adding year to year. That is fruit of the body, brethren. You are adding age to age every now. You are adding year to year. If because God is adding fruit to your body, thank you, Holy Spirit. You said my water, you will bless. My, my food, you will bless. You will bless my store. I can see you are increasing and blessing my store. You say you will increase me on all side. That you are doing continually, blessing the fruit of my body. These are the fruit of your body, brethren. God is increasing on your side and all side. Magnify and exalting. Magnify and exalting. Thank you, brethren. Because God is good to you. It's good to you. You are producing fine fruit of your body. Glory to your God in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, I thank you. For the fruit of my body, I thank you. I can look at my wife, I can look at the children, I can look at my name, my, my, the work of my hand is prospering, the ministry is prospering, I can see my head is prospering, I can see my life is prospering, I can see my store is not running dry, I can see my food is not running dry, I have rice, I have beans, I have things to eat in my house, I have gary, I have water to drink, my store is not dry, it's not lacking of food. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have oil. I have oil in abundance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 I'm not being invaded with an incurable disease. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm not a, a, an eyesore. People are not seeing me and running away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are making me attractive to others to see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nobody see me and run away. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. These are the fruit of my body. My physical look is not is not embarrassing. My physical look is not embarrassing. Nobody is seeing me and running away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My head is fine. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. 
for indeed you are bearing fruit in my life. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Yeah. Brethren, God is bearing fruit in our life. Only if you don't want to look at it deeply and thank God. Yeah, there are prayer we are praying, we are, we are still believing God for answers. There's no doubt about that. And that's how life will be. Nobody's prayer can 100% be answered, finish. If all your prayer answer, will you still pray? Do you have a God? Look at those countries where they have everything. How old they become godless by and by. When human beings have everything, they don't remember God. Just they give us our daily bread. If God should give us the bread we need in a year at once, nobody will pray to him. Nobody will serve him. But God daily loaded us benefits. Every day, a benefit. He didn't give us all the benefits at once for the whole year. Or else everybody will run away from him. But somebody and by God is answering our prayers. The one that have not been answered, he will answer them. Because he daily loaded us with benefits. He's producing fruit in our life. We are not barren by all this standard. If you look at all this you have mentioned and many more I couldn't even mention, it's obvious you are not barren. It's obvious God is producing fruit in our life. I don't see once again, I say thank you, Father, for, yeah, for producing fruit in my life. Thank you for producing fruit in my life. Thank you for producing fruit in my life. Like I even hear all that speaking is fruit himself. I can speak, I can hear, I can see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can move my hand, I can move my leg. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the benefit of all these things that I'm enjoying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are good to me and to my household. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Just in one word or two before we share a little dagoa for all this morning. I want to say, God, you have done so much for me already. And I can say it in song. You have done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. You have done so much for me. There are so much you have done already. I also know there are still more you can do. There's no one you live in their life and that will embarrass. Mm -mm. One the Holy Spirit is in your life. One evidence you know the Spirit of God is there is that the person will not be barren. In the fruit of the body, in the fruit of the soul, which is called the fruit of grace, character, behavior like, in your habit, in your lifestyle, in the things you do, shall the fruit of your body, in blessing your store. You see, I've been young, now I'm old. I've never seen a actual forsaken. Now you see begging bread. Sincerely, these few days, myself, I'm seeing many things new. If I tell you all this thing, I'm teaching you, I know them before I've been lying to you. As you teach me, I'm teaching you that God, that the God is exposing us to fruits and it's in our life and it's bringing fruits in all areas of our life. It's a wonderful thing, brethren. It's a wonderful thing. Do you ever look at your store that it's never dry at any time? It may not be sufficient and full, but it's never dry. Isn't God putting fruit in our life? And sometimes even when not and sufficient because God is good to us. Your children are not coming home and you are dodging to see, to you are not hiding for your own children. Is it not God in our life? You are not hiding for your own neighbors. God has not embarrassed your neighborhood that you are looking for a way to escape and run away from there. Is it not like that? Is it not God for us? When he said there is no divination or enchantment against Jacob, God knows what he's saying. You know, if anyone offers a victim of divination, we will be surprised. Many people that are hypnotized and victim of 419, victim of kidnappers, it's because they are victim of divinations and incantations. They say one or two things, and before you know, they lose their mind. They lose their consciousness. And by the time they wake up, they are already in the enemy's camp and too late to come out. Do you think they haven't tried for you and your children? It doesn't work in it. And why is it not working? Because God doesn't allow the divinations, the incantations, and the enchantment of the wicked to prosper in our lives. Isn't God good to us, brethren? Have not enjoyed the fruit of the Spirit in our life already? That we are imbibed and in, in possessed by the Holy Spirit. It produces all this fruit in our life. You, Father, I thank you for this. Father, On behalf you. of this house, I say thank you for this. On behalf of this fellowship, this house of God, this fellowship, I say thank you for Father, this. You. For this thing you are doing in our life. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your name. 
in Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Sometime, you know, some of us go through clinic, maybe one small surgery there and there. We came out successfully, no evil attached. Isn't God good for us, brethren? Yes. Our God is good. But not this, we can't say we, have, we won't ask again. Say, Father, whatever area we are still looking unto you for, for the fruit of your presence in our life. Please don't hesitate to do it for us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, in my life, in every area, we are still looking unto you for, for the manifestation of your presence in my life. That you might show forth your fruit in me and again, to the glory of your name alone. Don't hesitate to do it in Jesus' mighty name. I know you have done much already, and I know you can still do more for me. Lord, do more for me in the mighty name of Jesus, in the labor of my hand, in my income, upon my children, upon my spouse, upon my ministry, upon this house of faith, upon every, upon my head, upon every area of my life, my body, my head, I'm trusting you for. Lord, don't stop producing fruit of, 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 of your grace, fruit of your, my body, in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't stop producing the fruit of your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't stop yet in Jesus' mighty name. Yet do more for us in Jesus' mighty name that you might be glorified, that you might be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Quickly pray this prayer that comes to my mind now. I hope you still have time to do what you want to do. I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just being led this way and I want to, I don't want to stop until I'm exhausted the whole thing. Just pray this prayer for yourself. For the rest of this year, I will not be embarrassed. For the rest of this year, I will not be embarrassed. When I say I will not be embarrassed, I simply mean I have not embarrassed my wife, I have not embarrassed my children, and they will not embarrass me. There are things that will happen to people in somebody's life. You'll be embarrassed. But we'll not be embarrassed in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says men that put their trust in him, they will not be put to shame. I love that scripture. When it was what what go con lay or what what in bag bo or juki yo ti won as men that put their trust in the half faith they can never they will never they shall never be put to shame because sending kind of like to yo ti say for that for this or this year i will not be embarrassed in jesus name i will not be embarrassed and i will not be an embarrassment in jesus mighty name i will not be embarrassment to my wife to my children to my loved one and i will and they will not embarrass me in jesus mighty name any news I will hear from my loved one that will embarrass me, I will not hear it. For the rest of this year, in the mighty name of Jesus, and for the rest of my life, in Jesus' mighty name, I will not be ashamed, and I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. My wife will not be ashamed of me. My children will not be ashamed of me, and I will not be ashamed of them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not hear any news about my children, and I will be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says only the good, only the good news of joy shall be here from the house of the righteous. Only the news of joy shall be here for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I will have the fruit of joy. Only the news of joy shall be here from me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Only the news of joy shall be here for me and my household for the rest of this year and for the rest of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be an embarrassment to my spouse. I will not be an embarrassment to my, to my, in my workplace. I will not be an embarrassment to my people in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be an embarrassment to praying, praying, prayer group in Jesus' mighty name. And no one that I love, none of my loved ones will be an embarrassment to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Any news I will hear that will embarrass me, I will not hear it this year in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be embarrassed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You pray for yourself and your loved one, your children, and everyone that you care for, and every member of this group, God, we care for ourselves too, each other. We pray for ourselves that um, there's no divinations, mm -hmm. there's no enchantment, mm -hmm. there's no incantation mm -hmm. that will prosper against any of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let me explain that to you, brethren. Amen. Amen. If somebody is a victim of incantation and embarrassment, if, for example, you enter a boss and that boss has been enchanted, has been uh, divinated, as soon as you enter, you lose your mind. You'll be awake, you, you will not sleep, but the mind is gone. And the person can be driven from Lagos to Kano and you will not know. 
and can be driven from Abekuta and found himself in Libya, and we don't know. Can be driven from Nigeria and found himself in Niger, if we don't know. By the time we wake up, it is too late, so they kidnap us then. Because the vehicle enter was eliminated with cantations. But if you are like that, immediately, but even before you enter, something is there, you just miss the vehicle, you won't enter. And if by any chance you enter, immediately you enter, they will know their are incantations or their divination is not working against this one, and they will drop you. They may even pick a fight with you and say, go down, we don't want you in our vehicle. And you'll be wondering, what did I do? What have I done wrong now that they, they chase me out of this vehicle? It's because you are not a victim of incantations or divinations or whatever it is they are putting in that box. And the same can be for you and your children. The Bible said, no weapon fashion against me shall prosper. There's no divination, there's no enchantment, there's no whatever that is risen against me. But I say that they may be said, what has God done for Israel? To pray for yourself for the rest of this year, for yourself, for your loved one, and for your children in particular. I will not be a victim of incantations in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of divination in the name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of enchantment in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon fashion against me shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. I will not be a victim of incantation. My wife, my children, my loved one, no member of praying, praying, prayer group will be a victim of incantations. Victim of divinations, victim of enchantment in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be in the wrong place at the wrong time or anywhere. I will not be in the wrong place at any time, at any place. I will not be at the wrong place at any time. Now my children, now my loved one, I will not enter the wrong plane. I will not enter the wrong vehicle. I will not enter the wrong boat. I will not be in the wrong train. I will not be at the wrong place at any time in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of incantations. No incantations, no divinations, no enchantment will work against me and my children for the rest of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be anywhere my children go, whether they are on campus or they are in the schools or they are at home or they are workplaces, whether in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, no evil shall prevail against them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. As a family, I want to pray for. The wife wants to be reunited with the husband, and uh, as far as I've not heard from them that things have happened already, I want to pray for them that whatever may be being the delay, God remove from their way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There's anything I love, I love man and wife to be together in one place. That is the mind of God. So, this for the reason of promotion, the husband has been travel outside the country, and the wife is to join him, but one or two things have been delaying that movement. But whatever they may be, we say. Now is the time in the mighty name of Jesus. What God has joined together, let no promotion, let nothing separate. Therefore, wife, go and join your husband and be promoted to in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hindrance in your way, we say now enough in Jesus' mighty name. Every hindrance holding you down, we say now enough in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall the leader movement now. Nothing, no visa, no official, no or no company policy, no country policy, not over, not over it is that is hindering it. We remove that in Jesus' mighty name. Grace be for you now, husband and wife, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I speak for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus, that the fruit of the Spirit of God in you we ever be abandoned in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When people see you, they will see God, they will see his work, Amen. they will see his anointing, they will see his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The fruit of your soul, the fruit of grace, we ever abound in your body, I mean your life, in your character, in your behavior, in your work in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the fruit of your body, your children, your labor, your work, your business, everything you do to keep body and soul together and to be happy in life. They will always abound in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will not be embarrassed. Amen. You will not be an embarrassment. Amen. For the rest of this year, I speak for you and I speak to your life. You will not be embarrassed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. No news from any of your children will come back to you to embarrass you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And no news will go from you to embarrass your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As a group, as a family of God, we will not be embarrassed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I say no weapon fashion against any one of us or our children and our loved ones 
shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For the rest of this year, no one hearing my voice now, or that you hear my voice later, or any of your loved one, any member of prayer prayer group, praying prayer prayer group, Christian ministry, and all praying prayer prayer group, Christian ministry children, no one of us, no one of you shall be a victim Amen. of enchantment, Amen. of incantation, Amen. of divination Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For it is written, there's no enchantment, there's no divination, there's no incantation that shall prosper against Jacob. And that it might be said of him, what has the Lord done? And shall be said of you, what has the Lord done in the mighty name of Jesus? Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. This short time as we study quickly and pray, Please open our understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. For the love of God, only important. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. We need to do much, but we just open to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. Galatians 5 22, we'll be discussing that the Holy Spirit bear fruit. Wherever the Spirit of God is, there'll be evidence. Evidence, fruit, they mean evidence. The evidence of a living tree is the fruit it produces. The evidence of a living person are the fruit the person produces. And our fruit are in three layers the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the soul, which is the fruit of grace. That is, your behavior, your character will reflect the grace you are carrying, the Spirit of God in you. Then the fruit of your body, and I've said the fruit of your body is not only about your children. Anything you are doing legitimately to keep body and soul together, to make yourself prosper on earth, that the fruit of your body. And God is very much interested in blessing all those. We have discussed those one in the course of the big event in the last uh, in last week. If you miss any of those, please go and listen to the big event and uh, materials and uh, be blessed by them. So Galatians chapter five verse. 22 say, but the fruit of the spirit. Now, this is the first touching point when the Holy Spirit comes into our lives. I deliberately leave it to the last because I want to explain the, the other two and the soul level and of the body level. You know, we are, we are three therapeutized beings, spirit, soul, and body. And we should produce fruit on all these levels as long as the spirit, as the spirit of God is in us. And we are discussed the fruit of the soul, it is fruit of grace that affect our character, our, our, our behavior, our habit, our lifestyle, in so much that none of this is an embarrassment to the grace of God we are enjoying. And also the fruit of our body, this includes our children, our work, our income, our health, and everything that, that are required for a normal life. And none of these two should be an embarrassment in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. But this two will not be there without this first one. God is the we are the Holy Spirit actually dwelling in our spirit. In our, nobody carry the Holy Spirit in the soul. Nobody carry the Holy Spirit in the body. The Holy Spirit is in your spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is now in your spirit that now influence your soul. It will affect your soul. And once it affects your soul, it must affect your body. Praise the Lord. And therefore, the original place is this, is the spirit. And when I say when the Holy Spirit is in your spirit, and this is how you will know we begin to produce the fruit of the spirit. And there are uh, about, uh, they do about nine of them or so, but the, the Bible makes them to be only one, only one fruit, you know? It's just like the fruit or the, or the fruit, singular fruit or the spirit is, even though they are in many categories, but once one is there, others to show manifest. And once all this fruit is in your spirit, then your soul will prosper, your behavior will prosper. The fruit of grace will show you your behavior in your lifestyle, in your character. You will no longer be an embarrassment to the profession of faith that you have. Then it also reflects in your body. Once you are prospering your spirit, you are prospering your soul, your way, please God. The Bible says the way of man, please God. We make even his enemy to be at peace with him. Once your way, please God, especially in your soul, automatically it will reflect in the way your body and other things that you are, you are footing we manifest. So the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. In other words, when all these things are present in your spirit, your ticket to heaven is sure. 
you have no fear about entering heaven. Your ticket to heaven is very sure. There is no law against this. And the fruit begin to manifest in your love. You see, you love God. Sometimes you ask ourselves, do I really love God? Look at us now, we are about 20 in this meeting. And that others are attending that meeting elsewhere. And that others are somewhere because they don't, they don't just remember because the, the way your heart is there with your where your trail is there your heart be also. So when you love God, you want to be where you can be blessed of God, where you can pray to God and be, be a blessing, not just yourself, but your family also. So this the fruit of the spirit is love. Love encompasses all things. And when there's love, there's joy. And joy is a is a form of oil. It's an anointing that comes from God. When the Holy Spirit is in you, automatically your heart will be enveloped with love. And when love is there, you carry the oil of and uh, the oil of joy, the anointing of joy. God anoints you with joy, and it has nothing to do with what's happening around you. It's just the presence of God in you. And when there's joy, there is peace. You are at peace. Even though you may hear news, you may hear things with going around that you might be hearing. But the peace of God that pass from understanding envelop your heart with joy. And once joy and peace is there, it doesn't matter the news you should overcome. Let the person receive the baddest of reports, medical report or whatever report it is. When there is peace and joy in that heart, the news, the report will fade away. And that's why one of the one of the most the biggest uh, one of the strongest words in the Bible is and it came to pass. And it came to pass. Everything will come to pass. Just hear it, just with the news is there. It might be shocking. It might be, be terrifying. But the truth of the matter is give it some days. It will surely come to pass. And it quickly pass away when you have joy, when you have peace in your mind. You are at peace. You trust God. You believe God because the love of God envelop your mind and the joy of God envelop your mind and the peace of God envelop your heart. One that is in your spirit is in your life. I tell you, there's nothing you cannot overcome. There's no bar you cannot run over. There's no victory that is impossible. When you have love for God, love in your heart, you love him, you love his people, and the joy of God envelop your heart, and the peace of God envelop your mind. When these three things are there, there's no Thing, that's nothing, that's nothing, that's nothing that's impossible to achieve. Your nothing will disturb you. Your mind will be at peace. Nothing will put you to, to the point that you'll be worried and concerned and uh, you can't eat your food again. You can't do anything positive again. You are just like a, a lost person. No, you are at peace because you know it will come to pass. It will go. One day it will go. I'm not created this way. Whatever you are not created with, it will surely come and to go. That's the truth. I'm not created barren. I'm not created sick. I'm not born a sickler. I'm, I, and even if uh, by any reason a sickness come that way, that is not the mind of God for me. The mind of God for me should live in peace. And if I claim that mind for me, then it holds. Even biologically, I'm born with a condition that is not a mind of God for me. It can as well go as long as I have the peace of God and the joy of God enveloping my mind. There is no situation that will not pass present. That's the beauty of the Spirit of God in us. And once you have the Spirit of God in you, this manifests. Immediately you look at you are not at peace. You are not having that joy in your mind, in your spirit. You are not having it in your soul. That's the evidence of the Holy Spirit. Once it's not there, then you begin to ask God that God anoint me with the oil of gladness, with the joy, with the oil of joy, oil of gladness, and let your peace envelop my mind and let me just love you and love my people that you have blessed me with. Can you pray a prayer this morning and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let my heart be full of your love for, for, for you and for my people in Jesus' mighty name to love you, to love the brethren, to love my family, love my spouse, irrespective of who he is or who she is, to just love people you have blessed my life with. That man, that woman, you have blessed me with him, you have blessed him with me. Therefore, I have to love him love my children love my spouse love my church member love my fellowship member love people of this group love god with all my heart and enjoy the joy and the peace that come with serving god 
Lord, let this be my Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this be my Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my love in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give me joy, joy in my soul, joy in my spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer for you and also ask to pray the prayer since by deliberate delay to this time, so I can explain it. And that's the prayer that you should pray that God will anoint you with the oil of gladness. Even Jesus Christ was anointed with that same oil. If Jesus Christ was anointed with oil of gladness, then I need it. The Bible said, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Long suffering is part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But long suffering can work if there's joy in it. He said, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. That means Jesus Christ was able to endure the cross because he was anointed with joy. Anointed with the oil of gladness. If Jesus Christ, in all his mightiness, God in person, was anointed with oil of gladness, how much more me and you? And when there's joy, oil of gladness in you, you will be at peace at all times. But when the oil decline, decline and finish, you will never have peace. Lord, anoint me with oil of gladness. In the mighty name of Jesus, lay your hand upon my head and let me all your gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, do it this way. Raise your right, right hand up. Connect that hand to heaven, anywhere you may be. Raise your right hand up and your left hand put upon your forehead. Your right hand is touching up God now. And God is touching the right hand. And the oil of gladness flows through your hand into your head. In the mighty name of Jesus. So raise your right hand up and put your left hand upon your forehead and declare, I receive the oil of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. I am anointed with oil of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. I will know it. My spouse will know it. My children will know it in the mighty name of Jesus. My neighbor will know it. Everyone I mean, will see this fruit of oil and this fruit of joy in me in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive the oil of gladness. I am anointed with the oil of gladness. It will never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be abundant and be enough and sufficient in the mighty name of Jesus. It will run from my head to my shoulder and to every part of my body in the mighty name of Jesus. I will overflow, I will overflow in it in the mighty name of Jesus. From me to flow to my house, to my spouse, from me to flow to my children. For me to flow to everybody and I mean, I am anointed to be to have joy in the mighty name of Jesus. If Jesus was anointed with all of gladness, I am anointed with all of gladness as well. I am anointed with all of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. I will rejoice every day. I will have joy every day in the mighty name of Jesus. I will rejoice every day. I will have joy every day. I am anointed with the oil of gladness in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. That has still result. The Bible says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. You need joy to pass through this life, brethren. If your heart lacks joy, you will be sad every day. Because there's enough news you will hear in the radio, in the news, in the paper. There's enough news around you, even when it's not coming to you, to have to make you to be sad. You will hear things every day to cause joy and sadness for you. But the Bible says for the joy that was set, that was that was given to him in endured the cross. The grace, the joy, the anointing of joy, the anointing of joy to pass through this life a happy person, a joy person, to live my life all the days of my life in joy. I receive this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That's your prayer now. Go and pray your prayer, prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. The joy I need, the, the daily oil of joy. The daily dose of joy, the oil of gladness for every day of my life. I receive this morning the mighty name of Jesus. Every day of my life, I am anointed with joy. Every new day, a new anointing of joy in Jesus' mighty name. Every new day, a new joy, oil of gladness upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon me, upon my household, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. <coughs> now you can put your hand down. Quickly pray this prayer before we close quickly. You say, I'm not in my household with joy in Jesus' mighty name. 
this house God has blessed me with this loving family. This is my family. We are not to be joined in the mighty name of Jesus. No calamity, no evil, no bad news. Only joy and peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Only joy and peace in the mighty name of Jesus. This is my household. It's my house. We are this is my own family. This is my own family. And this family of faith, praying, praying, prayer group. Only the all of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Only the all of joy and peace. Joy and peace in the love of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Joy and peace. We are not this house in the mighty name of Jesus. With the all of joy and peace in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you leave your house this morning, if you are at home. If you are not at home, when you come back to the house, you do it. If you leave your house in the morning, please put your hand up on your lint of your house. Anybody can do it, either yourself or your spouse or the children. Anyone that hear this need to do it. Just put your hand up on the lint of your house. In particular, the, the one that the door that entered the house in particular, and say, I know this house with the oil of gladness. When you say that, it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Don't forget the assignment. Please do it, I beg of you. You just put your hand upon the entry and the entrance of your house, the linted, and declare, I know this house with the oil of gladness in Jesus' name. Once you have done that, you have done your part. Leave the rest for God. Every news that we bring joy to the house, God will do it by raising of the anointing Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say it again as you put your hand upon your household, upon the lintel of your house this morning, or anytime you are at home and you do it, please don't forget this, I beg of you. And as you do it, I declare by raising of the anointing that you have declared for that house, as you say, I anoint this house with the order of gladness. By raising of the, uh, that statement in Jesus' name, I declare the anointing oil of joy and gladness be upon that house in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And every news that will bring forth joy in that house, you will hear it every day of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And the oil will not be reduced. Amen. It will not decline. Amen. It will not dry off. Amen. No sin or iniquity will remove it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. May God bless you and keep you. May God put his face upon you and be gracious towards you. May God lift up his covenant upon you and give you peace. May God put his name upon you and upon your children and bless you. And may God anoint you afresh with the oil of gladness, with peace, and with love full your heart. Love for God and of his people in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Secretary, so, I take about a minute or two of your time. God bless you. And I met you beautifully with all of gladness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And because of year of uh, the Holy Spirit, what do we say? Hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for coming. God bless your heart with the oil of gladness Amen. and cause it to be at peace Amen. as you love Him into your life, into your heart, into your soul, and into your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, brethren. Have a beautiful day.